all, this is Megan Snowden from Accounting Theory, and I'm here to discuss the residual entity theory of accounting and why I feel that it's the best. The residual theory was created by George Staubus, and it is a combination of both the proprietary and entity theories. Staubus believed that the end stakeholders of a firm are the common shareholders. So if you think about this, bondholders and preferred shareholders all have rights uh, to assets and an agreement for payments in, say, their bond agreements or their preferred share statements. And common shareholders, then, are the overall risk takers. They have the risk of not ever recognizing a return. Say, the company never paid dividends. Or they could even take a loss if the stock price plummets because of financial results. So under the residual theory, income is calculated as revenue, less operating expenses, bond interest, and preferred dividends. This is to reflect the in end income available to common shareholders, who Starbucks believed was the biggest risk taker. So I also believe that this theory is the best and most reflective of the economic position of a company and the actual income to shareholders who have taken the largest risk. The common shareholders, therefore, are the users that need to make an informed decision, which is also in alignment with Concept Statement 8's purpose of financial reporting. And I feel that since it's aligned with Concept Statement 8, that we should use this theory of accounting and think about common shareholders as the largest end users and the biggest risk takers. Thank you.